lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elation's Radio. And here's your host, Miss Kim. God bless you. I am Apostle Irvin Whitlow, and I want to invite you to listen to Making Marriage Meaningful. Join me as we talk about marital matters. It's real. It's raw. It's relevant. Every Saturday night at 10 p.m. Eastern, 9 Central, on Elation Radio.
woman of God. We come to you with a loud sound, a Shabbat, hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. Woman of God, Lord. you are released to bless the people and Shabbat the Lord. I, I just want to say, you know, first, woman of God, it's, it's an honor to come on here and, and, and be a part of such, such, this such mighty move of God, but... I just want to say thank you for those that, that, that and thank you to you and those who may be on the line that have been keeping me covered in prayer um, with everything that has been going on with this, with, with, with my sickness. And, and, and I just, and those that have been just lifting me in prayer, you know, God, God hears the prayer of the righteous. And, and I just want to, just want to say thank you. And, 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 and that, that it has blessed me dearly to, to know that I have such a strong family, um, church family out there that, that is just praying for me and, and I'm truly blessed and I just, you know, and, and keep those prayers coming because they're working <laughs> and they are working and I, Hallelujah. I'm not going to be on here long today. Um, but as I was, I've been, you know, doing a lot of studying and, and when, when God lays something on my heart to, to look at and, and I dig into it and I just, I get into research and I just begin to write, you know, and, 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 and just with, there's so much change coming and, you know, and many of us have been talking about the changes and the shaking that's coming that the Lord has, has laid on our hearts to speak about. And, and in the upcoming months, there, there, there's such a, a change and shaking that's happening. And, um, I began to dig in and, you know, um, I'm sure many of you know, you know, we're officially like within that 40 day roundup period and the, and, and the, um, Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish new year, which is starting the Jewish new year, um, Rosh Hashanah, it can be translated, um, as the head of the year. It's also sometimes called the feast of the trumpet. And secondly, Rosh Hashanah is celebrated. There's a celebration of creation. They celebrate the feast from Friday the 18th this year, September the 18th, to September the 20th. And God had really laid it on my heart that in this this 40-day window to push, P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. Pray until something happens. And right now we are in a divine window of time and mercy to prepare ourselves for a new season that is ahead. And in the year, this year, you know, the year, the calendar year is done by numbers, you know, and this year is 5781. And and it's a strong quadrant. It's hotter to shake or collapse or about to fall. And Isaiah 54, 10 says, for the mountains may collapse and the hills may reel, but my gracious love will not depart from you. Neither will my covenant of peace totter, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. And in Psalms 46, 2, it says, therefore, we will not fear that the earth change and through the mountains totter into the midst of the sea. As I read these scriptures, I heard the Holy Spirit say, this is the year of amazing change. And he began to speak to my heart, and he told me that God is a covenant-keeping God, and there is about to be a great, great, and effectual change is about to happen on the earth. Holy Spirit led me to dig further into 5781. And specifically, looking at the Hebrew letters and corresponding with those numbers, I want to share with you what I found. And five equals hey, which means breath, air, spirit, and behold, to make known. He highlighted the scripture to me, Matthew twenty six forty one. Stay awake. And pray so that you won't enter into temptation for the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. And God is saying, wake up, stay awake, pray, worship, stay close to him and do not fall. Do not fall into temptation. And if you have fallen into temptation, to repent and move on. And the number seven is Zayan. It means plowshare, weapon, sword, to aim, to adorn, to cut, to feed completion he highlighted scriptures isaiah 2 
verse 4. He will settle just among the nations and provide operation for many people. They will beat their swords into plows and their spears into pruning nuts. God is saying is that he is going to settle some disputes. Some of us, some people that have had long outstanding battles, many have been facing outstanding battles, are about to come to a divine solution. Where there has been conflict between two parties, God is about to speak into those situations and provide a solution. And the number eight is is chait, C-H-E-T. And it means wall, fence, protect, new beginning, separation, sin outside. And he highlighted this scripture with that would be Psalms 43. I waited patiently on the Lord, and he turned to me and heard my cry for help. And he brought me up from desolate pit out of the muddy clay and set my feet upon the rock making my steps secure. And he put a new song in my mouth, a hymn of praise to our God. And many will see and fear, and they will trust in the Lord. And God is saying, as you come out of this pit, as many have been been in battles, and as we come out of this pit to praise him, many people are about to see God's hand move in, 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 in their life. And God will take away your tale of woe and give you a new song of praise in your heart. To get ready to testify, but above all, to give him glory. And then the number one, and it means strength, ox, chief, prince, leader. He highlighted scriptures, Exodus 15, 2. And the Lord is my strength and my song, and he has given me victory. This is my God, and I will praise him, my father's God, and I will exalt him. And God is saying he is your strength. He is our strength and our song, and he is going to give us the victory. Jesus has already paid the price, and you are about to see this manifestation. And as he was speaking to me, I believe that this manifestation is about to just, things are are, are shifting in so many of your lives. And it's going to be suddenly, it's just, it's going to be a sudden, sudden, sudden. But so the Lord began to speak to me and gave me this Rima word. He said, it is time to declare my promises over the earth, to dust off our journals and break out our recordings of prophetic words from the past. And this is a year I will change that which is around you, for I am remembering the covenant I have made. That the mountains may shake and great change will come on the earth. You will overcome by the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. My name will be made great among the nations. And you will be amazed that this is a year for amazing change. And the Holy Spirit reminded me of a vision that I had probably about a year or so ago. And in the spirit, I saw this like huge vertical it's like a pendulum at the top was a was like a like was these corrupt people it was like you know people that were that were overseers they were ceo people people of influence even court officials and things like that in, in on the top of this pendulum but then as i looked at the bottom i saw a lot of god's people at the bottom and god's people there was like so tired and worried and but still standing in their face and then with one move, I saw this pendulum just flip and reverse. And I saw the God's people that had been faithful with clean hands and pure hearts move to the top. And suddenly God's people were moved into places of influence and promoted in businesses. And, and, and things were just take it as if they were taking over the, the, the economy. And the worldly people that fell to the bottom. Some had recognized that God's hand moving in this and repented and came into the kingdom. But after a period of, of this, this discipling and heart healing, they were restored. But others became so consumed with bitterness and jealousy and the rage that they, that they were lost. 
And right now we have a chance to make sure that before God, we have clean hands and pure hearts, and we have a window of mercy to get right with God before this year of amazing change. And as I released a word last night, <clears throat> a Thursday night at my Bible study, I, w- I, I released a word <clears throat> towards the end of the night that the Lord had laid on my ha- heart. You know, he is looking. He says, my glory is coming. My glory is coming. He had me emphasize on 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 those that there are so many that are that are in stewardship. And when he kept speaking about stewardship to me, I felt that the Lord was speaking about those with their giftings and anointing and platforms and mantles in this hour. He says, "I'm looking for clean hands and pure hearts." For my eyes have been roaming the earth and looking for those who will steward with purity because they love me. And for the glory of my name. But as his eyes, as he said to me, that his, his eyes have been roaming and seeing and searching the earth, that there is much impurity. That he sees much impurity in stewardship. He is looking for her, those that have been prostrate before him. He is looking for those that have been, been in deep humility and before him seeking his face. Shout out of us, Father God. We have to get it right. The church, the body of Christ has to get it right. But he said that, God. But he kept repeating to me that his glory was coming. I could feel the weight of his glory that is coming. But only those that have been in that place with him, that place of intimacy with him, that had been seeking him in purity during this time, those are the ones that are going to carry glory. Because he, he says, my glory cannot reside where there is impurity. And that those that will house my glory are those that have steward. But they carry impurity because they minister to him. Their hearts before him are pure. This is the hour where there will be a mighty demonstration. There is going to be a mighty demonstration of my glory that will be carried by those who are living in purity and ministering to him. Father God, and during that time, he also spoke to me and said that there was going, some lights are about to go out, and some lights are about to go out. Those words, my spirit, and miss instantly knew he was talking about the lamps and some revelation too. And this is the hour we are in. It is so urgent and so critical of the stewardship of heart, the stewardships of gifting and anointing and platforms. And in a place where there has been disobedience and sin, and sin we're about to see demonstrations of Ichabod take place in the church. First Samuel 4. God has been looking for those who have been after his heart and those who have been seeking him and those who have been stewarding in purity, those who have been living in purity. But the Lord showed me that there has been an impurity and in sin that the Lord has continued to call out to these people for repentance and conviction. But there are many that have refused to listen to him. <laughs> But the Lord said to me that there's about to be a mighty shift, that there's going to take place, and that there's a shift, there will be demonstrations of Ichabod in the church. 
And he has been calling and he has been calling and he has been calling and many, many refuse to listen. And my heart was just overwhelmed. Just but he spoke to me again, and he says the level of my glory that is going to be seen when this shift takes place is going to be unprecedented. The way my glory is going to manifest is going to catapult the church into their greatest days, and my glory is being revealed all across the earth. And those that carry it will be those who have tr- that are truly his friends, that those who have worshipped, before him with pure with purity and pure heart and he says that you will be surprised he to watch to watch to watch to watch who rises and it's going to be shocking and surprising to too many who is going to arise and carry the glory of the lord in this hour where the glory of the Lord is going to reside. There's going to be a very clear distinction in this hour where stewardship of purity has been and where impurity has resided. And in this hour where there is a rising going on to take place like we have never seen before, it's going to be very clear who the friends of God have been in this hour. The religious are going to be truly offended by how the Lord moves and when he moves in this hour. Those that have had pride in their hearts and using their giftings and anointings and platform for self again and the worship of self will find offense where and how the Lord moves and how his glory is cut, comes heavier than we have ever seen or experienced before. He is is about to pour out his glory. And we have to be in that place with him. We have to be in that place of intimacy with him. And we need to be purity, complete purity. The name of Joshua, Father God, I just thank you, Lord God. I just thank you, Father God. And I hear the Lord saying, many, you know, many, 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 many of you, many of you have been in that place with me. You have been seeking me. You have been close to me. You have been in intimacy with me. And his glory is coming. And you will carry, you will carry that glory. In the name of Yeshua. Father God, I just pray, Father God. I just, Father God, I just pray, Father God, that you, Lord God, will touch your people, Lord God. Those that, that, that are not listening, Father God, I pray and I lift them up to you, Father God, that you will just put a stirring in their hearts and shake them, Lord God. Give us ears to hear, Father God, and a heart to receive. Thank you, Lord God. And I just felt that I had to come on and emphasize that, that we have to be we have to be and get into that place right now. As I have spoken many, many times, you know, that the Lord has wanted his people to humble themselves and seek humility and seek righteousness because he says, be holy before him, for I am holy. And so many by, so many people in the church and so many people in the body of Christ are just Playing. They're just they're just going through the emotions. They're just sitting in the churches and they're just just going through the motions, but not acting. You know, God has given us so much authority through Jesus. They're just going through the emotions. The Lord says. <laughs> And 
It is time for the body of Christ to step up and do what we've been called to do. He says he has given us all authority. He said greater works would we do. Many said in the churches we were not meant to just sit in our seats and sit in the church pews and just sit there. We were called to go out. We were called to go out to lay hands on the sick and heal them. But what is the body of Christ doing today, Lord God? We need to pray. We need to pray for those that, that, that are in the churches, not just not just that are those that are that, that I'm not just talking about one church. I'm talking about the body of Christ everywhere. The the, the churches that are just, just sitting there and they're they're just waiting for something to happen. We we are his workers. We we he is waiting on us. Father God, I just come to you right now and I just lift the body of Christ, Lord God. I pray, Father God, that you would put a stirring in all of our hearts, Lord God, that a fresh fire shall fall upon your people, Lord God, and that we will, Father God, come together in one body, Father God, that we that we would come together in unity, Lord God, for there is power in unity. Father God, I just pray, Father God, we are looking, we are waiting, Father God, for your outpouring, Father God, upon your people. We are just waiting. Touch us, Lord God. Touch me right now, Lord God. Father God. May we rise up, may we arise up, and may we rise up and walk in unity and under the power that has been given to us through Jesus. At the authority of <laughs> God, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I don't want to interrupt the flow of the spirit, woman of God. Amen. Just let me know when you like me to come back. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I think she's she's off the line. Amen. People of God, I'm telling you, that was such a powerful, I believe it is a word from the Spirit of God for us during this hour. Amen. And the awesomeness of that is just, it just it is an indication of how much, hallelujah, our Father loves us and wants us to be prepared and not taken off guard. Amen. Giving us specific instructions how to ready for his return. And not only that, giving us strategies, amen, how to move way forward in the days to come. Glory to God. I want to thank you so much 
prophetess Melissa Ross for bringing forth that word, very revelatory, amen, glory to God, and just for allowing the Spirit of the Lord to use you mightily for his people in this hour, amen, glory to God. This was a very special Shabbat Saturday indeed, hallelujah. As she has already confirmed, there is a great shaking occurring in the heavens, people of God, hallelujah. And do not doubt what God has released today in this hour. There is a new thing. A new thing is being released. Hallelujah. And the Holy Spirit is creating a new path in the midst of the chaos. We are going to be shifted into a new thing, into a new season of reaping. Hallelujah. A season of plenty, a season of change. Hallelujah. And what we need to do is to be in alignment and walk into your new. Hallelujah. Listen, people of God. Hallelujah. He is Lord and he is God. He is greater than COVID-19, greater than any financial woes in our economy. Amen. Greater than the racial divide that the enemy is trying to create. Glory to God. He is going to do a new thing for you, for me in this season. And we are at our place of victory. I keep saying that every Saturday. I feel it so strong in my spirit today because of the word that has been released. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that you will demonstrate your mighty word that has been released in this hour. My God, today, we Shabbat the Lord and we expect. Set a great move of God, hallelujah, in your lives during this hour. Amen. I decree and declare your mighty acts, Father God. Hallelujah will be made manifest, my God, today. I believe God, people of God. I believe his report. Hallelujah. And you are now, those who are under the sound of my voice, you are now in a place, an opportunity to Take hold, hallelujah, take hold of the baton, run your race, finish your course, amen, fulfill your purpose and your calling, but it requires you to have a heart that is pure and tender, as the psalmist anointed would say, amen, a heart that is consecrated, hallelujah, as the word says, a heart that is sanctified, my God, today, and holy, my God, today, Abba, Father, Fill this broadcast with your glory, that those who are under the sound of my voice now and later on the read broadcast will experience a great manifestation of your power and your presence. Touch the life and nature of God within them. Let change take place now, Holy Spirit. Mm. Let it take place now, Father God. I want to say thank you so much again. This is Apostle Dawn for your stopping by for another Shabbat Saturday. Thank you for listening during this hour as the Spirit of the Lord used the woman of God and released a very rhema word, a very revelatory word, a very strategic word for you in this hour. Glory to God. And I want to thank, hallelujah, of course, Dr. Kimmy Kim and the Elation Radio Family, amen, Spricker Haro Basta, Spricker Radio, iHeart Radio, glory to God for this platform, glory to God, and I pray the Lord will continue to bless you, continue to enlarge your territories in the name of Jesus. Thank you again for joining us, hallelujah, prophetess, Melissa Ross, God bless you, woman of God, hallelujah, and everyone, please come back next Saturday. At 3 p.m., my God, today, Eastern Standard Time, 12 p.m. Eastern, hallelujah, Pacific Standard Time, amen, for another Shabbat Saturday at this great station, Elation Radio, hallelujah, know that the Lord is for you, hallelujah, and not against you. Know that the greater one dwells on the inside of you. Hallelujah. And he said that you would do greater works, people of God. Hallelujah. You are not jerry back. 
you are not weak needed, and you certainly are not defeated in the name of Yeshua. My God, today, presence of God so strong. And hallelujah, I hope that you can join us tonight at the revival at 111 Water Street in Front Royal, Virginia. Come and catch the fire, people of God. There will be a great move of God in the city of Front Royal. Hallelujah. And we are expecting and anticipate his glory to show up in the house. Amen. Come by plane, train, boat, car. Hallelujah. Come. Let somebody carry you if they have to. But come and put yourself in the presence of God and experience a mighty move of God. He said he would show up. Amen. And I just trust him and know that he honors his word. So God bless you all again, 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 again. Thank you so much. I love you. Hallelujah to life. And I bless God for your support. I bless God for your prayers. Amen. Continue, woman of God, Dr. Kimmy Kim Robinson, to allow the Lord to use you. We love you, Lord. We love you, woman of God, and your large heart for God's people. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Please close us out. Shalom. Yeah.